I don't think I necessarily need the microphone to talk to you guys, but I'm going to do it just... <laughs> it's just a very intimate experience right now. Uh, <laughs> thanks for coming out. Eve Six is here. Ooh. It's a big anniversary, celebrating 20 years of the debut album, guys. Must be pretty exciting to get out there. Yeah, it is. It is. It's very strange. It's strange and wonderful. I just want to start this uh, quick memory. Our, my friend Joe, uh, he skipped school one time, hopped on a bus all the way from Connecticut into New York City when he was 15 years old because you guys were on TRL. Wow. <laughs> The girl I liked was super into them. It got me nowhere. So. Oh, oh, buddy. <laughs> Bummer. Sorry. Uh, just to bring it back a little bit, what was it like getting a record deal when you guys were 17 years old, still in high school? Must have been quite the whirlwind. Yeah, it was, it was definitely a thrill, and we knew, you know, that it was, you know important for us and and for our band but at the same time it wasn't um i guess in hindsight it a lot of things did happen kind of immediately but they didn't feel immediate like we signed the deal we finished high school so there were what a couple years yeah so it was like a development deal it, yeah it's crazier looking back on it than it was at the at the time it was just like that was what we set out to do you know yeah <laughs> guess it's kind of like you're, you're in the bubble yeah and mm -hmm. now you can uh the re in retrospective, it's, it's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how's it been dusting off a bunch of the songs you guys haven't played in a number of years? Sometimes, if if at all, ever live in concert. Yeah, yeah. A couple of them. I mean, we probably played them on the very first tour, but not since then. It was pretty funny listening back. Like I haven't listened to that whole record in I don't know how many years. Like probably eight. It was years. really funny. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah. It's really funny to us, yeah. you know, just to hear like. <laughs> Just the the little production things and the you know little Mac, vocal things. Max is really into his little blues blues <laughs> runs I'm that like, he did. What the hell are you doing, kid? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it, it it was it was fun at the same time, and uh, it's been really fun playing some of those that we've literally yeah basically playing never this, played. You know? Playing those songs now, um, you know, through our lens now. Uh, is is cool i think that i think they hold up as songs and they're fun to play very cool uh can you tell me a little bit about poughkeepsie's early role in your career i understand some of the the early poughkeepsie shows were pretty wild yeah the chance was was always we knew you know whenever there's a chance date that that it was it was going to be extra yeah sweaty sweaty <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It was Poughkeepsie and Salt Lake City in the early days. It's yeah. true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Chicago. Yeah, there was definitely a couple of, of standout standout cities for sure, especially right off the bat. Yeah. Nice. So here we are. It's the 20th anniversary. What are we talking new music? Are you Have you guys talked about that at all? We've spoken a little bit about it. We've talked about possibly doing a covers EP with maybe some unlikely choices on there with possibly a new song, original song as well. So, yeah, that's the fact that we're talking about it is means that, you know, we're, we're on the path, I think. Very cool. Uh, does anyone in the crowd have any questions for the band? Go for it. Does she have a name and what's her backstory? Ooh, there, that's a good it's one. not a real person if that's what you're asking. Yeah. yeah. It was a made up, made up. Like, character. I think most of our album art it was an image that we thought was interesting um there's not much of a through line or or narrative going on um yeah oh uh, yeah yeah <laughs> oh that's awesome yeah we've seen some great tattoos of her yeah, yeah. there's been there's been quite a few tattoos on this tour, yeah, actually. Yeah, many. Everybody's breaking out the ink for the 20th. Yeah, yeah, a lot of blenders. A lot of blenders with hearts in them. <laughs> Last night, someone had tattooed our signatures on yeah. their arm. Nice. Yeah. So. It's the anatomically kind of accurate hearts, too. Right. That, like, <laughs> you, you see the, you know, really get the sense of the organ. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's an a, a little anatomy lesson, yeah. I guess. Uh, anybody else have any questions? 
All right, I have one more question that I'm going to have both you guys answer. If you could give the 17-year-old version of yourself one piece of advice, <laughs> what would it be? That's good. Quit. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just kidding. Um, mellow out. Yeah. <laughs> mellow out. It's all going to be okay. Don't worry. I actually manage artists myself now, and I've been thinking of talking about this a lot lately about because I, I notice like younger artists, it's like so easy to freak out about every little thing and i remember the hell we used to give our manager and you know, like just over nothing like absolutely nothing we would just call him up and 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 ream him out and then and and so now i'm i'm realizing that he probably hung up his phone and was like man eh, all right you know <laughs> like went back, <laughs> went back to it so so yeah don't don't worry about the things that seem seem huge because they're probably not it's good advice don't sweat the small stuff exactly